Facts, yo. Hey, yo. Any fucking nigga out here who thinks they're a rapper and they catch feelings and they want to have some violent shit because of beef, nigga, fuck you. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand lyrical beef. It's all excitement. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. It's your boy, DK. Hey. I'm rocking with you, and I know you're watching me, so you rock with me too, man. Come on, man. Stop playing. Next up on the docket, I got my main man, the OG, the Omalo, Calligraph Jones, Papa Jones, the Beast from the East, Jones. Come on, man. Y'all already know, man. Didn't I tell you how this motherfucker is nice? How many times I gotta tell you how this nigga nasty? Hey yo, if you're watching this shit and you shoplifting and you wonder what the fuck shoplifting means, it means you nigga. You don't say, you don't hit the, 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 the like button. You don't share this goddamn video. And you out here lurking. Watching my shit. You you refuse to join the family, bro. Hey yo, man, know that out here we don't bite. We only in a 10, so don't forget to smash that subscribe button, man. Join this goddamn family, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Drew Aleba, Open Doors, The Refix, by the main man, Omalu. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm standing on the stage, looking at the audience, I'm frightened. They told me that this thing was all exciting. All the attention I'm attracting on the mic and the hype and the buzz got me thinking about my life when... What the fuck did you just say to me, bro? And on the stage, looking at the audience. Yeah, I'm standing on the stage, looking at the audience, I'm frightened. They told me that this thing was all exciting. All the attention I'm attracting on the mic and the hype and the buzz got me thinking about my life when I'm through with this, so gonna be next day. Been working hard, so I hardly take a rest there. I see you focus on your swag and your fresh gear. Me, I'm trying to be a damn legend, man. Is that clear? Okay. He telling y'all what he finna do. He not worried about all that swag and all that shit, man. He focusing on trying to be a legend. Hey, yo, man, talk your motherfucking shit. Talk your shit, Omar. Hey, yo, let's get it. That one day, I've been sitting on a round table with Kanye, talking about Ooh. business and buying beef. The dream that one day, I've been sitting on a round table with Kanye, uh -huh. talking about business and buying beats for Andre. They said the best things come to those who are humble. Uh -huh. I've been a humble dude that you wouldn't believe. I chose hip hop and I swore to never leave. But this one, I done left behind all the beef. Resulting the violence only proves that you weak. Facts, yo. Hey, yo. Any fucking nigga out here who thinks they're a rapper and they catch feelings and they want to have some violent shit because of beef, nigga, fuck you. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand lyrical beef. It's all excitement, man. It's all like some motherfuckers like me can get excited about shit, about hip hop. This ain't about fucking like trying to be violent and shit like that, man. Get your weak ass up out of here, man. Yo, talk your shit, Omalo. My man, man, Omalo told you that that niggas is weak. If you out here acting like that, you was fucking weak too, bro. Shut the fuck up, yo. And mama told me that, son, you gotta be strong. Violence only proves that you weak. Word. What up? And mama told me that, son, you gotta be strong and you don't got two body. So you can criticize me all you want, but you don't know my story. What they put on that corn, yo? Is that butter? Hey, a corn, butter on corn. That's the shit, man. I don't know what the fuck that's. You gotta be strong, and you don't got two body. So you can criticize me all you want, but you don't know my story. Hey, all my kings, yo, tell me what they put on that corn, man. All right, I wanna know. I wanna try that shit. Hey, a corn, yo. Let me know what that what they put on the corn, man. That's some street shit right there. Say I get to any body. So now I'm praying to God that he gon' come and see me. A lot of these niggas on my case, they be pulling me 
What I tell you, son, you need haters, man. If you ain't got no haters, means you ain't made it yet. You feel me? Niggas, yo, haters gonna hate. And then people who gonna love gonna love you, man. That's it, yo. That's the way of life. They either watch you win or they wanna watch you lose. Either way, they gonna watch you. Facts, man. That's what Mayweather said, yo. He's like, all these niggas out here, they either came here to watch me win or they came here to watch me lose. Either way, they gonna watch you. So that what the fuck you can, man? Put on your bat show, man. Yo, burn the goddamn mics for me, bro. Priceless, so I gotta make this buck, cause this money don't come for free. God is gonna open those. Hey, yo, is that Omalo's twin brother? <laughs> yo, why these niggas look so alike, man? Oh, God is gonna open those. God is gonna open those. God is gonna open. Uh, open so what's up with all the yapping and the stabbing in the back? I ain't a saint, but that ain't realm and all that's happening in the swag. Where were you when I was snapping on the sack? When I was in the streets, I remember you was slapping on my. Man, yo, that, he's not, not even on the mat. These niggas said when I was napping on the sack, yo. That's crazy. He was napping on the sack, man. Damn. Hey, yo, flaunt your fucking success, bro. Hey, yo, man. And if a nigga gonna hate, let him hate. And when they're gonna hate, let him hate, yo. They're gonna watch your money pile up, man. In the swag, where were you when I was snapping on the sack? When I was in the streets, I remember you was slapping on my tracks. You see that my accent was not legit. But y'all didn't think I'd come and top this list. I think I'm for this lesson. This is my confession. I worked for this spot. I'm the proof of the lesson. Uh-huh. And mama told me that, son, you gotta be strong and you don't got to worry. Uh-huh. So you can criticize me all you want, but you don't know my story. If I give you like me to a 40, I say I get to an authority. So now I'm praying to God that he gon' come and see me. A lot of these niggas on my case, they be pulling me back, but I won't let them get to me. Hey yo, this is a classic beat. This is a classic song, and Omalu just made a classic freestyle for this shit. Right, hit. I fucks with this shit, man. God's gonna open doors, man. He talk about his up. You know what I mean? He talk about uh, the ridicule the motherfuckers done did to him. He talk about how hard he stayed on his grind. And he wanted to make it. He talk about how people ridiculed like his accent. And now he's out here sitting on the top watching y'all motherfuckers down there. Hey, yo, man. Talk about poetic justice, man. Man. I, I fuck with this shit right here. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Smash that thumbs up. Hit the like button. Join the fucking family and stop shoplifting, my nigga. See you on the other side. Let's get it. <laughs> so you know they call me Lyrical J. Mostly my people love to call me the beast. Mm. I know you watch Prison Break, but none of them ever break bars like my homie DKA. There you go. There you go, y'all heard it right. Y'all heard it right here, man. Come on, man. Shut the fuck up and listen to bars, nigga.